Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 45 and today we are going to look into the next adjacent selector and this is the pattern and before I explain how it works uh, you know I want to see where we are all right and I want you to download you know the jQuery from jQuery.com slash download the uncompressed version if you're new to jQuery if you already have the jQuery then it's pretty good if you're new then the downloaded jQuery goes into your project at some location and then you need to reference that jQuery file into your head section once you've done that and you need to make sure that for you know uh, the reference is there if the reference is not that then the jQuery is not going to work next you write some JavaScript code and by saying hey document dot ready document dot ready means once the document finishes loading we want to execute some jQuery instruction which is right here so now let's talk about the you know the the next adjacent uh, selector so you can see the pattern is something like this it says previous plus next now previous is can be any HTML element and like uh, it shows you know the next is the next element of the previous right so only that thing should get selected so if I look at the markup now so I can see let's say I'm assuming let's say h2 is a previous element at present according to me all right and so what would be his next element its next element would be the P right so if I save this and if I uh, write the same thing the previous plus next all right so when I run this thing the adjacent one you can see the only paragraph minus one is gonna get selected right and oh I didn't see that well at the bottom I have also made the same pattern h2 and the adjacent one is the p so paragraph minus one gets selected over here so you're getting my point right how this is working right so what if I come over here and if I go like this p plus p so and if I now do the view in browser before I do that let's figure that out over here so jQuery, star, jQuery will start from the top it will see the first element okay P so it will say alright I'm the previous one alright and now I need to look the next element which is coming alright so I'm expecting a P this is a pattern which I'm expecting so let's see uh, we should get you know two P selected one at the top at the bottom all right, so this one has a pattern P and this one as well because over here we have two paragraphs even we have two paragraphs so the the next one is picked up same goes with this case as well all right so I hope you're getting my point like how this works all right but uh, plus remember this is this, there is there is uh, you know no such thing as you know the parent and child relationship over here so if you try to do anything like this and expecting after div we have any p tags no we don't have that we have the h2 so if I uh, preview this then it's an obvious thing it's not gonna work no selection is gonna occur but if I go and if I write something like this after div I'm looking for h2 then only one h2 will get selected right so let's preview that the bottom h2 okay then so now I believe you got the idea like how this works so we are done with the next adjacent selector up next we're going to look at the next sibling selector so I hope to see you there thank you for listening good night and take care